The following video shows just how in the tank the major news media is for Obama. To illustrate this point, we made a one-word change to this news report. Wherever the name Obama comes up, we simply substituted the name George Bush. Okay, here we go. Reporter. <clears throat> Reporting live from the White House, President George W. Bush has told Senate Democrats that he is tired of all this political bickering and Congress blocking his agenda. So President Bush has declared that effective immediately he will bypass Congress entirely and throw out the separation of powers to unilaterally use his executive power, namely executive orders every single time Congress stands in his way. Members from his party met with Bush, praising his pronouncement wholeheartedly. Oh, yes, we agree. This is the best move for our nation to move us forward. Could you imagine if Bush really did that? He'd be tarred and feathered, drawn and quartered, and quickly impeached and convicted. In the media, no less. No need for Senate hearings. Why go that far? ABC, CBS, and NBC would be standing, demanding his immediate resignation. The New York Times might demand his arrest or worse. But let's take this even one step further and simply reverse the political positions being addressed by the new totalitarian ruler. <clears throat> the White House unveiled the first wave of the most pressing issues headed to the president. Those include freezing of the minimum wage until the budget is balanced, comprehensive immigration policy overhauls. This includes increased border security, immediate enforcement of existing laws, the zero tolerance policy for non-citizens and their immediate deportation. All abortion clinics to be closed immediately with a war crimes tribunal assembling seeking justice for over 50 million innocent Americans murdered under the guise of law. Public school teachers will be paid commensurate with their level of scores that their students achieve on national standardized achievement tests. All same-sex marriages are to be annulled. And an immediate 30% decrease in spending across the board in all governmental departments. And a review of all remaining departments to see if they even need to exist. The immediate abolishment of the EPA and the Department of Education. An end to all funding for the National Endowment of the Arts and National Public Radio. President Bush said he would have preferred to work with Congress on these agenda items, but for the good of all Americans, he said he had no choice but to act unilaterally. Bush added that if he didn't make these dramatic cuts, we'd experience the escalating domino effect of devastating, ravishing hyperinflation. He agreed that these cuts are deep and temporarily painful, but he asked, is there anyone in the room that would really prefer to see our US dollar go the way of the currency of Zimbabwe or the Weimar Republic, where it took about one quadrillion dollars to buy a loaf of bread or a cup of coffee? WS stopped short of adding any more hope and change for the first week. He opted instead to exercise restraint and wait until the second week for those additional edicts. Reportedly, those reforms include abolishing the Federal Reserve and the IRS. Whoa! Could you imagine if such a turnabout really were to occur? Come to think of it, this scenario doesn't sound half bad.